There we go. Whoa. We got our solar panel, as you can see. It is still just completely overcast, as you can see, and raining. Uh, this is under load, so if I turn this off here, it would suggest we got a uh, 17 volts unloaded going onto the panel of course if I kick this in here it takes that down because then the little charge controller kicks in it continues to charge the battery which is powering the clock I've had to put the phone in the other room um, and I'm going to take it as on a day like this I'd be better off trying to keep a battery, a bigger battery topped up and then use that battery to you know, use this to charge the phone with I think while it's as overcast as this but even with no sunshine it was still making the battery kick in it was still making, you know, the phone was still uh, charging but because it is so overcast um, it wasn't continuously charging like I said the phone was under load as well, it still is under load it's still downloading in the other room um, and it's my computer still connected to it because I still need access to the internet and if I looked at the camera I'd, you know on the screen I'd get to see where uh, where this thing wanders off when I'm chatting away and the camera's just going way off we go where are we gonna go to <laughs> but yeah not bright enough out there just all cloud no no light coming through really um, but still it still gives enough to put into this because this will uh, run off it's a little over 3 volts um, and it's still putting a bit into the battery so that's still pretty good I can't wait for a little bit of break in the cloud I really can't I want to see how many things I can put on this thing and get it running um, I've also moved the the panel slightly up from the bottom of the window pushed it up so it'll have a bit of extra a uh, little tiny bit of extra light getting into it yeah. we shall have to continue the experiments <laughs>